buff of her or not. Or actually, no, never mind, hold on. No, 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 this will be Riot taking it slow. It will likely take three buffs over the course of three months before Riot puts Urgot back in a reasonable place. That's my guess. I'm guessing it'll take them three months to properly fix Urgot. Now that they've broken them in the most ruinous of fashions. Callus, Negatron, Tear, Pickaxe. It's a thought. I am up against the Heimerdinger. It's not a bad idea. It is real. Yeah, Heimerdinger is also very passive. You're right. Maybe this isn't the worst. Maybe I could do it. Go call tier and just go full on super late game. Where are we going? Thresh, you need to lead. Thresh, you need to lead. Thresh, you need to lead. Jesus. Ugh. Holy crap! What was that damage? What the fuck just... Wow. Uh, wow. Vagar lost half of his health instantly. Starking our, our Reddit page for ideas. <laughs> Thankfully, two shotguns do kill those stupid things. Yeah, farming against Heimer is. Heimer has to be one of the single most frustrating champions to lane against. Because he is passive play in the most obnoxious sense of the word. He's all about essentially bullying you in lane and not letting you do anything while just shoving constantly. He is the most boring champion to lane against. Oh, come on. Wow. I can't I can't get any of this. I killed that stupid turret, but yeah. Such a frustrating lane. There's literally nothing I can do except farm under tower. It's not easy to do when he's constantly harassing me because his kit allows that. Oh, and because of his insanely slow auto attack, and I'm missing everything. I'm missing everything! Fuck, I need the graves to, to come gank. This is so frustrating. Really hate this champion. Maybe if I played Scion, I wouldn't mind so much. These things seem to be going well for our mid lane. Yeah, this, this just isn't fun. Making us fucking run the gauntlet. You got this, right? Oh, no, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Good. Fuck that guy. Fuck that guy and his cheesy champion and his cheesy playstyle. Fuck him. 
Once I get an adapt, I'm not. I'm not running the. I'm not running that weird ass Reddit build. I'm not doing that. I'm I'm running standard here. I'm getting an adaptive helm as soon as possible, and I'm ruining this guy's life. Shit, I really do need it. Oh, he started ignite. I should shove this in. Plus, I don't have much money right now. I don't have enough mana for Q. Of course, why would I have enough mana for that? And hey there, Roberto. How you doing? Um, Merc Trades is actually a really good buy right now. I'll take it. His kit's extremely annoying, but at the same time, like, it relies heavily on landing that stun. And on landing his other skill shots to actually get any real damage on you. Otherwise, all he's doing is shoving. The mobility this gives me and the stun resistance. Not resistance. But the tenacity it gives me. There you go. Very helpful. Cannon, sucker! Ha ha! Like seriously, he's such a frustrating champion. Can anybody find one single fun thing they can say about laning against Heimerdinger? Because I can't think of it. Dies easily to ganks. There you go. That's the most fun thing I can say about him. That's not exactly something that. Oh, he's taking a turret shot. stupid towers. And fuck you in particular. Try and send a missile my way. I don't have enough for my W. All I can do is sit back and collect XP. God, this sucks. I need the back. I can't stay anymore. Because I'm out of mana, and I know exactly who to blame. Riot Repertoire. Everybody, flood his flit his Twitter with your opinions on his shitty design ideas. Please. Social media, that's the way we deal with people like him. If he sticks around, he's dead. He doesn't have flash, I'm almost certain of that. Oh, he's leaving. Smart man. Might as well cost him a wave or two. I can't shove this into his tower fast enough, but if I do this, I can freeze it here. And at least in that way, deny him. I'm also denying myself because I suck at CSing, but that's a different story. Right, killed both of my favorite champions, Zack and Urgot. Not in the most pleasant fashion either. It was not lethal injection. No, this was the electric chair. 
They fried my champions, both of them. God, he's such an annoying champion. Like, seriously, the poke range he has, and there's just no retribution for what he's doing. The turret won't fire at him because it takes so long for the auto attacks and missiles to actually reach him. And he just gets to keep spamming until I get help. Like, there's there's just nothing I can do here. It's a boring sit back and wait for a gank scenario, and he's just slowly taking my turret. I can't even get I can't even get all the farm because this constant harass is so frustrating. Man, did somebody just delete him from the game already? Because the worst part about this champion, I think, is that when you see one on your team, you never feel, oh, thank God, we have a Heimerdinger. You feel, oh, shit, we have a Heimerdinger. What is he actually going to do for us? Because he doesn't do anything. Ugh. Oh, gotta be kidding me. Wow. Wow. Great. Great. <laughs> All you had to do was fight him. If you just stood still and fought him, we would have killed him. You ran like a pussy, and because of that, I couldn't land my ult. God damn it, man. I, I seriously don't understand why he ran. The Rek'Sai had 20% less of, of her life left? And he... No, it was less than that. No. It was it was within execution range. So, she was within execution range, and he's running from her when he's at full health, and I'm on my way. Why? Why, man? Why? It killed him and got my tower killed, all in one fell swoop. At least it looks like other lanes are having fun. I certainly am not. Not until I get an adaptive helm. This lane is basically the most frustrating and boring lane that exists until then. Look, a champion designed solely around frustrating a certain variety of champions is not good design. Yeah, I can't come help you. I'm not even sure I can stay here. You're, you're screwed. Hmm. Alright, let's get some more magic resist. Health. Once I have an adaptive helm, this lane stops being an issue. And I need to get there. It's a firm grip. Hey, at least I'm only 20 CS behind him, given all the shit that I've been going through. That's not bad. You sure about that, Audrey? Oh yeah, no, no, absolutely. Heimerdinger is one of those champions that's designed around having a weak to ganks laning phase. That's his balance. That's the counterpoint. Hmm? Got him! Woo! We got him. Thank you! He fucked it up. He needed ult immediately. He needed to ult immediately. I don't know why he held on to his ult as long as he did. If he just ulted, dropped a turret by the time I got to him and fought him, I probably would have lost enough life where I would have needed to run away. Or die. But he played that poorly. Thank goodness.
He was trying to go for an outplay, but because of his attempt to go for an outplay, I managed to get the E right in his face. And now I have Adaptive Helm. I don't have TP, and there's not really much I can do bot lane. How did both of you die? I guess I got nothing better to do topside. It's just, I got nothing better to do here either. I got no ghost, no ult. I don't even know why I'm headed over this way. Oh, this should be good. They're getting at least one kill by the looks of it. Nice hook! That's at least one kill. Oh. All right, time to take a turret. This should go down really fast. And good. Vagar's in mid to protect it. Just take the turret, please. Huh? Let's get one of them. That's the one! Yeah, it's a dance party around a Nibia's corpse. Oh, yeah! We had a circle dance. I know people are used to square dancing, but circle dance is good. Nice hook, by the way. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh, God damn it. That explains why I still wasn't strong against him. I didn't have adapted. How did I not buy that one? I now have adaptive helm. Kindle gem and signal. There we go. I really should get Righteous Glory next. At least the Kindle gems are worthwhile buy. Oh god, what are you guys doing? Ugh, oh, fucking flash. My, it was gonna miss any of you. Good god! We were just outnumbered. People badly out of position. I have an adaptive helm, none of these guys scare- Oh god, what are you doing? Yeah, the problem is Vayne is currently split pushing. Yeah, with an adaptive helm, they don't do any damage to me. Epic. He's still gonna die, I think, but... Oh, thank goodness. Okay, good. That's fine. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. Uh... Right, you guys have got balls. And then Lucian showed up! There's the pain. Aw. Uh, I mean, Lucian still has that. Yeah, he's... Yeah. <laughs> Nicely done. Good job, team. Um... I really do want to go for adaptive. I'm still finding myself running out of mono, which is crazy, so let's, uh, excuse me, not adaptive, uh, Righteous Glory. <sighs> wow, that was a crazy fight. Oh, that's fine, he's got it. 
Why did you jump away? Oh, minion wave died. Oop. Eek, what have you done? Oh god, what have you done? Oh no. Oh, come on, man! Come on! What are you doing? The whole point was to save Thresh, not to fight. I saved Thresh. How about we back away at that point? And you should never be standing in the front as Vega. Thresh missed, unfortunately. Oh, this is bad. My Q might have just saved your life. I do believe it did. Gotcha! Oh, this is brisk. Okay. Whatever, that's going to be at least two kills. I'm glad the team followed up there. Because they they were all very low and I was able to get a nice disruptive E into them. Not enough. Only sells for 200. This fucking item costs 500. Yeah, that, that Q did look really cool. I remember that one. You threw the Q in a line, and the vein just said, Oh, I'm not crossing that. <laughs> it's been a while since I've actually been to lane. Yeah, the Heimer pick's not working out so well for them. The Rek'Sai pick, on the other hand, has been quite ferocious. I don't have teleport. Maybe I should not be doing. I, I burned my teleport to save Thresh. Unfortunately, Vagar still died. That's fine. Now we push top. Oh, I have a funny idea. Where are you going? Does he know I'm here? Did he spot me walking in? Fine, whatever. Kill your shit. This thing takes some serious punishment. Mm, I'm gonna stay between the lanes, because right now these guys are too far forward. Like, Lucian can probably- oh god. A little more, a little more. Oh, god. He's dead. I screwed anyways. Yeah, it looks like it. And Lucian died in the 1v1. He got the kill, but he died for it, which is not worth. Not worth. What do you mean lazy? Not allowed to be lazy. Oops. Well, they got a free Baron because of that. Because Thresh and Vayne were pushing on their own. Not, excuse me, not Vayne. Thresh and Vagar, because they were pushing on their own, we just lost. Everybody on the team died. And we lost Baron, and Thresh died again. And Vagar made be on the death shelf. See, this is the thing. A good Vagar never gets within range of this shit. 
He always has that um, stunning shield of it, or stunning is a circle of stupidity, whatever it's called, I don't know. The point is he has it. Like, that ability is so broken, but that's what defines a good Vagar, is how well they use it. It's your zoning tool, your CC tool, your safety tool, it's everything. And if you don't use it well, it has a very long cooldown that will punish you for fucking it up. Thing is, if you do use it well, it is game-endingly good. You are lucky you landed that hook, or you would have died. Good enough. Too bad they still got the turret and we only got the kill. I invested a lot in that kill, too. Nice. I do still have my ult. We can keep pushing. Their team's not grouped for once. And their Rexai has a lot of their team's power. Clearing these waves too easily. Because of the supers, it's tough for us to keep pushing. And Rex, I got a turret. Cool. Oh, this is bad. Oh, I'm just dead. Yeah, that was a really well-timed CC. That was uh, an interesting attempt. Nice. Nice, nice hooks. Oh, good thing he's dead. Uh, he's dead, right? You needed... Losing too much for what little that we got. There's the definite issue that I built tank before damage, because... The team is lacking it right now. The Vagar is not pumping much out. Neither is the Lucian. Quaid's got crit, which is good. He probably does more damage than the Lucian, which is not good. Lucian's an early game champion. He should not be getting overshadowed by a, a jungle AD carry. They own our jungle. You better not die. We just got two kills for free. I say for free because, like, they got a free kill on our on the jungle, on, on poor Quaid, who got ambushed. And we got two kills on them for sticking around for no reason. They definitely should have left. Damn, this Q does a lot. How much AP do you have? Just 5.13, huh? There's our problem. 30 minutes into the game, and, and he's got as much AP as a normal champion should have at this point. Not a Vagar. Wow, he actually got a kill. Nice.
Killing one of you assholes. Some bad news for you. You are not getting out of this one. Bad news, my friend. You are not escaping. The moment I timed my E to ignore that stun, he was a goner. Alright, that's Cleaver. I do have teleport. I can join you guys. As long as I have teleport, I can split push. We do need to be careful who else shows themselves bot lane. Oh, uh, okay. Nothing for me to TP to! They're both dead. There were no wards for me to TP to until, like, the very end. He dropped this at the end. Like, right before he died, he dropped that. It's too late. That's good. That's two kills, though. Yeah, you best flash. Uh oh, we're coming. Woo! Oh, you're dead. Hmm? Dang. I mean, overall, that was pretty okay. Considering the, the Lucian and Thresh died at the very beginning for no reason. Parting gift. I said I'm leaving it. You. I have to blame myself for that one. I did not control Urgot's baser instincts, which are to destroy, destroy. As his robot counterpart says. If you want farm, you're going to have to fight me for it. And yeah, we got to be careful. Uh, who we end up showing in other lanes, I need back. We showed in mid lane, so they're not going to be just going for Baron. Alright, let's... What do I need? Sell this, get... Yep, get one of these. Oh no. Thresh, please! Why didn't you just back with me? Uh, it's just... Vagar's dead too. Oh. And that's a free Baron. By the time he dies. No! Okay, he still died. Oh, and Lucian died midair. Well, that sucks. Man, the Thresh dying was the tipping point there.
Could have beat TP to Thresh Lantern. That's another point. I did forget about that. You're right. <clears throat> I could have TP to his Lantern. Though that was a very bad fight, and it would not have necessarily gone well if I had. And then, unlike before, you cannot... Um, Just taking everything from me, man. At least I got that one. Jesus. These guys are taking so much damage just walking around. The enemy team keeps setting up ambushes like this, which are real... I gotta stay here. Oh, this is a stupid idea! And it was a stupid idea after I actually went for it. Damn, the Rek'Sai is so strong now. Run, Quaid, run! That's so fucked up! God, that is so fucked up! It's not like Quaid is weak by any regards. He is loaded in items. The, the Rek'Sai, though, is full build. Once you're full build, I think you'll take him casually, but yeah, until then, it's kind of not fair. Yeah, we can still win this game, but it requires actual team fighting, because their team is just winning the... The, oh, they're not all together, let's fight game. And they're winning that. God damn it. Once again. Oh, no. Fuck you, dude! Oh no. You got it. Nice. Nicely done! Fuck this gameplay, Apex. Oh dear. I'm dead. Hey! The Heimer died, so it was all worth it. I just don't understand what Lucian was doing. Because that's what led to the disaster. How much AP do you have now? There you go! That is a reasonable amount of AP for a Vagar. It's not great, but it's enough. And Vagar can win us the game still. Ugh, he just needs to land his skills. Oh! Wait, what? Oh, she QSS did. Oh, guys, just stay alive a little longer.
evolution just doesn't do any damage. I mean, the vein is shredding me to bits. The Rek'Sai is shredding me to bits. Even the Heimerdinger is shredding me to bits. I... I can't, I cannot handle their entire team focusing me. Their Rek'Sai, on the other hand, can handle our entire team focusing him. Then he makes himself invulnerable for a while. Then he comes out of it and then dies and revives because he has, oh wait, he doesn't have GA anymore. He had GA. I guess he used it and abused it and got rid of it. He is really fed. God damn, why is he so fed too? It's really weird seeing the scores, and yet we are very, very, very far behind. We can't seem to win an actual team fight because we're never together to actually have a team fight. There's always somebody off dying on their own. It's a lot of AP. We can still win off the back of this bait. His R will do 1,500 damage right now to, to Vayne. Please don't walk into that. Oh, if that landed. Good news is they're doing very little damage to the turret in the siege so far. Oh no, he's dead. Yeah, Nivia's wall is uh, next level bullshit. Oh my god. He decided to take a step back at that moment. God, the vein does so much damage. The vein's taking off like 20% of my health every auto attack, with a huge bonus every three. There's nothing I can do against that. Damn it, Quaid! Why couldn't you get 80 carry? Show the solution now, it's done. Would have been nice. Would have been nice. Oh well. It was a long game. And those are usually the most fun. Usually. This one was a little too clowny for my tastes. Both the Thresh... The Thresh and Vagar constantly were out of position. Getting hit by... Uh, they, were, they were constantly out of position, getting picked... Getting, getting sniped and getting wounded to the point where they were no longer useful. And it happened repeatedly through the course of the game. The Lucian repeatedly was not with the team. And when he was, he never felt anywhere near as impactful as their Vayne. Didn't even feel as impactful as their Heimerdinger. Their Heimerdinger really didn't do much. Not at first. Later on, he was actually getting a lot of damage in the fights. At first, he was essentially just... Uh, Arranged paperweight. Then he actually got to do some damage. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh. The Rek'Sai was particularly... Well, of their team... I'd say four of these champions are busted. Broken in some way, shape, or form. On our side, it's one, two, two champions. On our side, it's two champions that are busted beyond recognition. It's only the Zyra I consider not busted. Because she's an immobile mage. And she has long cooldowns, requires a lot of skill to play. Which I know it sounds a lot like Anivia, but Anivia has that stupid wall and her ultimate, and both of those together make her one of the most frustrating champions to deal with. Heimerdinger was designed around frustrating his opponents, specifically his opponents and later on his team. Those are the two things he's supposed to frustrate. Um, I don't know what happened. Um, Rexa fell off the map for a very long time, and now she's back. She must have gotten buffed in one of the recent patches, and I just didn't notice. Because you hardly ever see this champion. I only say busted after the last game because any champion that can solo carry a game, and she did, is a busted champion. And Vayne. I don't even need to discuss Vayne. 